All right, I'm coming to you guys from the sap room today, Sugar Shack. I haven't had time to film many videos lately because I've been in here for probably a week straight now. We just collected 2,000 liters of sap today that I need to boil through. So I haven't had time to edit any video. I've got a few uh, on the burner that I need to edit and upload. But because of all this, I haven't had time. Uh, we had a bit of a mishap yesterday while I was boiling here. We uh, went out to collect some sap. And when I came back, I could see a more smoke and steam than normal. And uh, I could smell some burning smell. So I told Chris to stop the four wheel. I jumped off and I ran from Polly back there where the garage is. And the pan had boiled down dry for the most part. And it was burning all the syrup. I was on my uh, way to make about 10 liters of syrup. What I had done was I had the shut off valve here that I have shut off right now in finishing syrup in the finishing pan here. It's hard to see with all the smoke and steam, but uh, I forgot to top it up. I forgot to top it up before I went back out and it was boiling pretty fast. So needless to say, we had to stop boiling for about an hour and a half, two hours while we cleaned it all out. Scrubbed down with baking soda and as well, sorry for all the steam here. Baking soda, some vinegar, and some tin foil to try to get that out. Then we use more of like a baking soda paste to scrub all the burnt stuff. We got it fairly clean, but the bottom of my pan is all warped now. So I learned a big lesson to make sure I double check before I leave if there's enough sap in there. Usually it's fine if it's just flowing and the tap's open because it's just a constant feed and there's no issues. But I just slipped my mind because I'm getting tired. I've been up at six o'clock every day and been out here till 8.30 most nights. So. 14 hour day boiling, trying to get it boiled down because we have a lot of orders. But that toad is full there. This one is up to the first bar. Oh, where is it? Hard to do here. And I've got this toad here as well, with 120 gallons almost here that we need to empty. And my evaporators are not boiling very fast today. I can't seem to get a boil on any of them. This one's actually started boiling. I thought there was blockage maybe. But I just went up onto the roof here, checked the smoke stack, and there's actually smoke coming out. So I think this is back to where it should be. It's been all day just slowly boiling and actually not really boiling. So I could have boiled through a lot more stuff than I had. But anyways, quick update and I've learned my lesson and you guys can learn from my mistakes. Make sure that either someone's watching it or you are having your constant flow going if you're leaving. Usually it's fine, like I said, when we go to the sugar bush, there's constant flow and there's no problem with it. Um, normally I turn the fan off as well, so it's not boiling as vigorously. But yeah, mishaps, and I was kind of worried that the barn was on fire. It's not standing, sugar shack's still good. So we are bringing maple syrup to everybody again. Anyways, guys, hope uh, you're having a great uh, syrup season if you're making syrup. And thanks for watching, give us a big thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you out there. Have a great day.